Hello, hello, hello. I am back. I got a little frog in my throat, but don't worry about that. I'm glad to be coming to you. I missed you last week. You know, we were at the AIM conference in Charlotte, North Carolina. That was a powerful conference. And last night, I was down in Jacksonville, North Carolina, at Bethel Church of God in Christ, preaching to the pastors and leaders uh, down on that end of the state who are a part of North Carolina third jurisdiction. And we had church last night. God blessed us real good. Thank you, uh, Administrative Assistant Superintendent E.A. Perry, for opening your door and allowing us to come in. Well, I'm in my office today getting ready for tonight because I'm excited about tonight's teaching. You know, if there is any one thing, any one thing, and there's a gazillion things, but if there's any one thing that I can say about biblical Christianity that I love the most about it, any one thing, now there's a gazillion things I could say, but if there's any one thing, any one thing, now there's many things, but if there was any one thing, I would, uh, among, well, I guess that, that one thing would be, it enables you to see. Since I met Jesus, Jesus has opened my eyes. See, the wonderful thing about biblical Christianity is that it answers all of the questions that life presents. As a matter of fact, uh, my friends, Life is filled with gray. Gray is everywhere until biblical Christianity is applied. When you apply biblical Christianity, life becomes, for the most part, black or white. This or that. Right or wrong. That's the beauty of it. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about the uh, biblical Christianity and talking about how God wants us to see. Yes, my friends, he wants you to be able to see. It is not the will of God that we stumble in darkness. It is not the will of God that we live our lives in despair, wondering, not knowing what time it is not knowing what's going on, not knowing why this or why that, who am I, where, or why was I born, so forth and so on. It's the will of God for us to know what the Lord is doing and to know what time it is. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about it. I want all the members of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ and all of our friends and good wishers and well-wishers to come to church. My friends, do not join the trend there's a trend out there uh, where people just miss church. It's summertime and people stay home. Or people say, well, pastor, I stayed home and I streamed. Streaming is wonderful if you are convalescing. Streaming is wonderful if you're bedridden. But if you're not and you're able-bodied, come to church. Be a part of the service. Don't allow missing church to become easy for you because when that happens, Satan is gaining the upper hand and we are not ignorant of his devices. I see you, devil. I see what you're trying to do, but you will not succeed. For the Lord God of the Bible is anointing us with the anointing to simply see. God bless you. I'll see you tonight.